It is very difficult to imagine that with a green landscape full of vegetation, we still have very many cases of food insecurity and childhood malnutrition. In this region, most of the households either have very little to eat or whatever is there is not diversified enough to meet the nutrient needs of the household members. It is therefore important that awareness is created so that household members are able to understand ways they can use to make sure that the resources they have are utilized well so that they are able to get the nutrients they need, the diversity in foods that they need, and especially children below five years old and women of reproductive age are able to meet their nutrient needs. <laughs> In this region, children normally consume one kind of porridge, made only from maize. Children eat it in the morning, at midday, and in the evening. But the human body really needs many ingredients for good health, so it is important to add sorghum and soya to the maize, so that the child is healthy. To make this, you should use two mugs of maize flour, two mugs of sorghum flour, and one mug of soya flour. You then mix these dry ingredients in a basin or a saucepan. Add cold water and stir gently. When you have stirred in cold water and the mixture is smooth, you heat the porridge on the stove. Keep stirring and add some vegetable oil. Keep stirring and the porridge will be ready soon. If you have sugar, add some to taste and then remove the porridge from the fire source and put it down. You can now serve the children. Each of the three flowers is important. The maize gives energy for the body. The sorghum adds iron for the blood and soya helps to make the body stronger. The vegetable oil we added in together with the sugar makes the porridge taste good, and the children really like it. Many families like to eat the same foods, and they do not mix and change their diets. But we really need to prepare different foods, mix and diversify our food, so that yesterday's food is not the same as today's, and today's food is not the same as what will be eaten tomorrow. The food we often eat is called ugali. To make good ugali, we cook the bananas and mash them. After that, we add the bananas to boiling water, adding in cassava flour and stirring gently with a cooking stick until it's ready. It's not only bananas that can be used for making ugali. We can easily use cassava flour and maize flour. Ugali is commonly eaten with vegetables, boiled beans, and sometimes fish. Locally available vegetables include amaranth leaves, cassava leaves, pumpkin leaves, and cabbage. Green peas can substitute beans, and meat can be used occasionally in addition to fish. There are many options, but people are learning how important it is to combine different food items for a diversified, healthy and nutritious diet. Although there is still a lot to be done to be able to make sure that all households are food secure, slowly by slowly households are realizing that it is important to have better nutrition, to know what you are eating and to make sure that whatever you are eating has a very good effect in your body. <laughs>